they have come out with new shades. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Anushka. If you're new here, make sure to press that subscribe button if you're new. And also, if you haven't pressed the bell button, make sure to do so. Okay, so today's post notification shout out goes to Sam XOX. So thank you for pressing that bell button. I really appreciate it and I see you commenting all the time. If you do want to get featured um, for shout out, all you have to do is press that bell button. Comment when you have done so and who knows, you can be the next one. I know I have like super crazy makeup. I'm trying to do like a festival makeup for my Instagram. So if you guys want to check that makeup tutorial out, my Instagram is linked in the info box. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about Makeup Revolution's new concealer shades. So you guys know they came out with the amazing Conceal and Define concealers in 18 shades and they were amazing. Like literally, I feel like they broke the internet when they came out. Everyone was talking about them. They're literally I'm going to call them the world's best affordable concealer because it's literally the same as top Shape Tape. They're literally five times cheaper, which is a huge thumbs up for me. They're so good, honestly, guys. So once they came out with the new shades, I was so pleased and they actually listened to their customers. I really have a lot of respect for a brand who listens to their consumers and I just really appreciate it and I, I, I love the way how they're so diverse and they... They're so inclusive and I am all for that. So I will always be supporting Makeup Revolution. And it's really great when a brand can take constructive criticism and, you know, take that criticism on board and really, like, improve their brand or their products. And, you know, I think that's amazing. So, um, yeah, I wanted to do a separate video on these concealers because I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see swatches and things like that and see if one of the new shades fit me better. A lot of you did say yes. So here I am doing this video. Um, I haven't... I've got my makeup half done if you guys are wondering why I look like this. So the concealer shades that I use are C12 and C10. But first I'm going to swatch the new shades that they sent me. So they have seven new shades. So I'm just going to swatch them like this. Normally when I do my arm out, um, I can't talk to you guys. <laughs> so that's white. Look how pigmented that is. This is also really great if you are more on the paler side and you want to have a concealer to highlight with or you can't really find a concealer that's light enough for you this is a really good shade so the next one is C0.5 so it's a bit pinkier in tone the white shade is definitely like a pure white it hasn't got much tone to it it's not cool tone or warm tone it's just a pure white while 0.5 is much more pinkier so next one we have is c6.5 c6.5 is much warmer as you can tell compared to 0.5 next one is 8.5 which we'll put so that's 8.5 really nice and yellow I think they did amazing with these shades. So the next one is 10.5. Beautiful. It's actually really nice and warm. We have 12.5. We have 13.5 right there. I think they did really well with these shades, honestly. So here's a quick look of the new shades, all seven of them. This one's super nice and yellow. These ones are much more warmer. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the shades that I usually use and see if there any of the new ones like match them better. So here is C12, which is a shade that I use a lot. I'll put here. I use it a lot on its own sometimes. But it's the one I use the most, but it doesn't really highlight. So most of the time I go in with C10 this shade right here so most of the time I mix the two to help brighten C12 I'm gonna grab C10.5 doesn't that look like a really nice mixture between the two and much more warmer when you compare because this this one is like a concealer shade for me but it didn't really brighten but then C10 helped to brighten it but then I feel like this is the perfect mixture of the two. So here's C12.5 against C12 right next to it. So 12.5 and 12. 12.5 is obviously a little bit darker. 
So if you're more into like NC45 or high, a bit higher, you can go for that shade. It's nice and warm. And I'm just going to compare C10.5, which I feel like is my perfect shade, with my Tarte Shape Tape. Aren't they very similar? Almost alike. So yeah, this is why I'm going to be going more for C10. I feel like Tarte Shape Tape is slightly warmer, but they're very similar. So for a £4 concealer, I think they're £4, but they're super cheap anyways. I feel like for such an affordable concealer, that is enough of a match for me like I can use that every day so I'm gonna use 10.5 underneath my eyes look at that that's like my Tarte shape tape shade just blending that Look at the difference. So yeah, that's 10.5 blended. So definitely that's my perfect shade. I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. All right guys, I literally feel like a mermaid with this look. It's just so pretty, I can't even deal. So that's the quick video on these concealers and the new shades. I really hope you guys found this video helpful and the swatches helpful. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments below. Again, I'm really glad they extended the shade range. That's what we're pushing for and I'm glad they listened. And yeah, definitely check the concealers out. They're so affordable. You can't go wrong with these. They're just so good. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!